Hi, Lionel Cedar Spini from LionelCedar.com. Who's Lionel Cedar and Think Personal Branding? Uh, today, the date is uh, July 21st, uh, 2017. Time right now is 9.50 in the morning. All right. I got this question in Quora. Uh, Quora is a nice little forum or website whereby you get questions and you can answer them and you can add me on my Quora profile. I've given the link below. Uh, this, <laughs> this, this question was, what is the one thing you hate about the mentality of Indians and why? Okay, see now the question is designed why, you know, what is the one thing you hate about Indian mentality? But the question is, what do you hate? Now, after I answer that question, what, what is it that I hate? I'll, I'll read out some of the points. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm getting all these responses, bombardment and all that. You bastard, you racist, you fucker, you. I'm going to kill your mother. <laughs> I'm going to rape your ass. I'm going to, you know, and they give these Hindi bad words. Bad chod, bad chod, this chod, that chod. I don't know why. It's so funny. And every time there's this fascination towards this word truth. I mean, it's vagina. They have this fascination towards vagina. I don't know why they do. They always have fascination towards uh, private parts. It's like either chod or lundis. <laughs> so okay fine so and uh, you know if you check I'll, I'll put the link below I put the image of a lady joining her hands and you know praying to a cow and the poor cow is looking like what, what's going on the poor cow you know they have put ropes on his face and garland and all that and this lady is doing this <laughs> to the cow so I put it up and people are like you bastard you put the photo of my god <laughs> So I was like, whoa, whoa, relax. You know, it's it's yeah, it's your God. I didn't know God was a cow. And why are you tying up your God if your God is, you know, God? Why are you tying it up? You should be, you know, let your God lose. I mean, how can you tie up a God? So I'm, I'm getting all these funny questions, not question statements, uh, just because I responded to the question on Quora. Now, uh, you know, first and foremost, where the fuck is my passport? Uh, okay, let me show you. I am a Indian passport holder. Okay, I'm an Indian. And in case you think this is fake, in case you think this is fake, can't show you most of the details, but this is me. This is how I looked before. And um, this is how I looked even before. Okay, so this is me. This is my Indian passport. All right. So the, 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 what I'm trying to tell you is I am an Indian passport holder. So uh, if... If being an Indian, I talk about Indian, technically that is not racism. It is racism if I am some other nationality speaking about some other nationality, which again, to tell you very honestly, I find very silly. It's, it's like being childish. Oh, he spoke about this nationality. Oh, he's racist. He's racist. Oh, he spoke about ladies. Oh, he's sexist. He's sexist. Like, you know, what's wrong with you? Why are you behaving like children? It's like, you know, when you're small children and somebody calls you monkey. Mommy, mommy, call me monkey. <laughs> it's so fucking retarded. I mean, uh, just because, uh, you know, when Obama was elected to the office and someone had uh, uh, drawn uh, an image of a monkey, they said, oh, a racist. He, Chill the fuck out, guys. Come on, you need to grow the fuck up. I mean, stop acting like children. It's like, mummy, mummy, call me monkey. It's like, what the fuck? If people call you, people call me so many things. They say, what is the shit on your face? They, people say, you know, uh, small dick. Or they say, you fucking faggot. Why is name calling all of a sudden so serious? I, you can call me all the names you want. Please feel free to abuse me, shout at me, give me bad words. I don't care. I, I don't know why people are behaving, grown ass people are behaving in children. Oh, you spoke this about my country, oh, about my God. Oh my goodness, people behave like immature kids. Oh, he said this about me. And if I say women, like, you know, I've been sharing this fact that my wife massages my feet. Oh, you sexist male chauvinistic pig, you, you make your wife massage your feet. 
man, my wife loves me. She loves to massage my feet. So what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it a big problem? And it's like, oh, then these, you know, women feminists, they suddenly come up online and they say, ah, do you massage your wife's feet? Of course, I would love to massage my wife's feet. It's, it's so romantic. It's so erotic. I, I would love to massage my wife's feet. Oh, do you, uh, what, uh, do, do you also cook and clean? Well, of course, when I was a bachelor, I was cooking and cleaning. Now also, I don't mind cooking and cleaning. But then somebody has to do the fucking work. So either my wife sits online and does my work or I need to, you know. So we can't keep, you know, my wife sucks at being online. I suck at cooking. So we do what we're supposed to be, you know, doing. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, you fucker, you this, you that. You make your wife clean. Uh, fine, I've told my wife I'll bring a maid in the house. She says, no, I don't want you to have a maid in the house. Maybe you'll get attracted to the maid. So, he, you know, you guys need to chill the fuck out, man. Just because you read a few books on, uh, you know, uh, women's liberation, all of a sudden you become like, ah, oh, women's liberation movement and all that stuff. You know, the problem with giving idiots, uneducated people, freedom and rights is that they don't know how the fuck to use it. They, they start misusing it. And that is one of the biggest fucking problem that you have in India, okay? You have a bunch of idiots. The majority of them are fucking idiots. Whereby you're giving them the privilege and the rights to speak freely, do whatever they want. So they don't know what the fuck to do. It's, it's like uh, giving Ramu a tea boy the rights and privileges of being a CEO of a company. He is going to fuck up the company. The same thing that is happening in India. You're giving lay people, people not qualified to even think. They can't even fucking think unless they go to a temple and get the, 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 the magic powder and they eat the sweet and they close their eyes in front of a statue and they, they worship the statue and they see a rat and they worship the rat here in Thailand. They eat that rat. So I don't know if it is an Indian rat or Thai rat, but anyway, a rat. And then they see a cow and oh, they do this while I'm eating the cow beef burgers. So, you know, sorry to say, but I'm eating your God, technically speaking. So anyway, now uh, the see, here's the thing. OK, here's the thing. Uh, why? Uh, what is the thing I hate about the mentality of Indians? So let me address that now. First and foremost, I showed you my Indian fucking passport, okay? I have an Indian passport. Now, now listen, before you get, oh, why the fuck you said Indian fucking passport? It's a phrase. Okay, uh, let me say, I have a sweet Indian passport. I have a lovely Indian passport, okay? Fine. I don't know, if I use the word fuck also, they get bad, okay? Uh, I, have, I have an Indian passport, all right? Now, the maximum I've stayed in India, the maximum, is uh, when I used to go with my parents for the holidays in uh, when I was young. Uh, you need to understand those days it was more like, uh, you know, the, the Indians who were working in the Gulf, when they would come back to India, they felt, oh, I'm a big shot. Oh, I work in the Gulf. So they used to come and they used to bring all this fucking shit like uh, nuts and grapes and uh, chocolates, you know, the ch stuff that you get in the duty free and they would come to India and people, oh, they bought for us chocolate, they bought for us nuts and grapes and they bought shoes. What the people in India didn't know is this is all cheap shit that they are giving you, but they're making it look expensive. Okay. So, you know, we used to come during the uh, once in two years, once in three years, because life in the Gulf is like being a fucking slave. You can go for, let me put on my fucking fan. You can go for a holiday once in you know, two years, once in three years. So we used to go there and that is the maximum I knew of India. India is just like a normal place. However, as time went by, uh, I think I didn't go to India for five years or 10 years. All of a sudden when I went to India, it was like, wow, the place has fucking changed. Now you have multiplexes, you have shopping malls, you have global brands. I think the dawn of uh, after the television, the broadcasting, which was taken from the government, you know, that dude Russia, you know, that shit that was there, it got replaced with cable TV. And now, you know, it's the economy is more or less global. At least they try to be. Uh, so people got access uh, to all this. They had money to buy all you know better stuff. So things change a lot. Now, I never went to India because I even though I have an Indian passport, I was in Dubai and Dubai is far more modern, more secure. It, it offers more luxury. And there is, you know, if you compare the Indian rupee with dirham, 
which is UAE currency, it was much more. So that's why I was pretty happy in Dubai, happy land. Nobody's shitting on the roads. Nobody's pissing on the roads. Nobody's spitting. Uh, you know, see, here's the thing. When you land in India, when you land in India and the aircraft door opens, like how Russell Peter said, it actually smells like you're in a toilet. Um, don't get me wrong. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you. It actually smells like someone opened the toilet door. You know, it's like, poof. He's like, Phew, what the fuck was it? You get the same smell that you get when you go to the toilet. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, this is maybe only in Bombay. Uh, I've not felt when I went to Kerala. I've not felt I've not felt when I went to Delhi. I'm not too sure. But Kerala, I didn't feel it. It's just, I don't know, what is it with Bombay? Uh, maybe it's, they just allow people to shit and piss. Now, I don't know if it's changed. But there is this smell. Seriously, there is this smell that comes when you land in India. It's, it's very organic. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm not trying to be... Uh, you know, uh, just trying to be rude, but I'm, I'm telling you facts. If you're in India, you can't get that smell. You need to get out because your nose is desensitized or whatever. Go outside and come back. You'll know what I mean. Okay. So I, I never was there, but I had to go to India when my visa got canceled. Okay. My visa got canceled in Dubai because I worked for a guy who was doing these fake degrees in uh, Dubai, UAE. He's from India. Uh, he has this company. He gives a lot of fake degrees. So Okay, fine. I, you know, I had to go to India. I couldn't help. I went to Bombay, got robbed at knife point, then went to Kanur, Kerala. Okay. I thought Kerala was poor. Kerala is not poor. Fucking rich, man. Okay. So once I landed there, now, you know, I had to live there because obviously I, I didn't have any choice. Now, however, I didn't stay there for very long. I, I left. I went back to Dubai somehow. Now, you need to understand. Okay. I want you to think. What is the reason that so many Indians don't want to stay in India? What is the reason that, you know, you keep saying, oh, Indra Nui is Indian, oh, Sundar Pichkai or whatever is Indian, Nadella, Nutella or whatever is Indian. Okay, here's the thing. They are, they were Indians, but now they are some other nationality. They have left the country. Why is it? that you have this brain drain. Why do you have so many Indians getting out of India? There is a reason. There is a reason. It's, I'm not saying all the people left in India are bad, but here's, hear me out, hear me out. If you had a choice to earn US dollars, dollars instead of rupees, if you had a choice to go to a country which gave you free global education, which gave you housing benefits, which gave you old age pension, which, which took care of you like a global citizen, which, uh, you, you know, it's, it's like uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, Sweden or Switzerland or, you know, which really took care of you, which had a kind of a global community, which didn't have, don't eat beef, in Kalam, Zillabad, don't eat beef, kill that bastard, he ate beef, he ate my God, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, wouldn't you want to go? Like, for instance, there are so many things that I keep thinking about, okay? There are so many things. India today faces so many problems. If you actually look at it, India faces, like, there is chronic unemployment, absolutely massive fucking unemployment because you've got this huge bazooka of a population. I mean, they say all Indians are brothers and sisters. I don't know who's fucking who, but somehow... Even though everyone's brothers and sisters, they have a massive population crisis because of which you have more than just engineers. You have more than one million engineers graduating every year because of which there is no jobs. And when you have an excess of supply and less demand, obviously you'll pay less. You know, why do you think that uh, so many people outsource work to India? Because India is cheap. It is cheap. The currency is cheap. Okay. So. People want to earn more. They want to earn more. They want to have a better life. And I, I cannot for the life of me understand why do they even take taxes from Indians? You pay taxes, but for what? I mean, in, uh, let's say, in Ireland or in UK, I'm not too sure if UK offers, but in, yes, UK and Dublin, even uh, Ireland, even uh, Sweden, Switzerland, they, they, they pay taxes. They pay taxes, but they get free medicines, free medical uh, benefits. The hospitals give them free treatments. Okay, They get free global education. 
uh, old age, they're taken care, they get a pension. If you lose your job, you get money. Okay. Is India offering this? I, I, I don't I don't think so. Uh, if you lose your job, does the Indian government pay you money? I'm sure if Indian government paid money, everyone would be sitting at home, nobody would be working. Uh, do they do this? Then the question is, why do you pay taxes? And that is the reason. That is exactly the reason why so many Indians leave India. Okay. It's not that India is a bad place. It's just that this, this whole policy, this whole government, I mean, you... If you look at some of your government representatives, I I, I look at them and I'm like, you know, I, I wouldn't even be able to introduce these people. If if I was, you know, if I had government officials who look like that, like, oh, yeah, some of them, not all, some of them, I'd be like, well, you know, look at Putin, such a classy guy. Look at the French president, such a classy guy. Look at uh, Obama or Donald Trump, also a very classy guy. Look at his wife, so fucking hot. Okay, look at our fucking, uh, you know, ah, they look like mutants, you know, no, I, in fact, I don't even know who the president of India is. I, I do know who the prime minister is because he keeps coming on the paper, Mr. Modi, got a nice beard, but I think he is a Hindu fundamentalist because he supports a lot of these uh, beef eating fiascos and Apparently, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, I, I see the newspaper. He, he does not like um, uh, Muslims or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm just stating. Okay, so he, when you have a country that is being run by such buffoons, you know, not not, not Modi, not the president, I'm not right. The, the people who you elect, and most of them apparently have a, a you know a prison record. That's as far as I know. Uh, what is being said? How do you expect? It's like having a company that is being uh, where the major part of the employees are all idiots or they have a jail record and you're expecting this company to become a fortune 500. It's never going to happen. It's simple, basic common sense. Okay. Now, the, the, you have issues in India, which is like mass employment, which is the education of today's youth, which is fixing an outdated educational system. You have religious beliefs being misused by people. You have corruption in the government at the topmost level. You have a lack of educational real life skills, which are which our youth today lack. OK, these are the things that should have been focused upon. Instead of that, the Indian government is busy focusing on which meat you can eat. Oh, you can't eat beef because beef is God. You get five years jail term if you eat beef. But if you rape a woman, no, you don't get a jail term. You get scot-free. Okay. The Indian government is more bothered about banning porn sites. Why the fuck are you banning porn sites? Let people use their hands and be happy to finger themselves or, you know, jack themselves off. It relieves them. You know why people are going on raping everyone? Because they are frustrated. Why the fuck are you focusing on porn sites and beef? And then uh, which, what you send on WhatsApp or what you send as a message. And then last, if not the least, they are more concerned about should India play cricket with Pakistan? Should Pakistan be allowed? Should this movie be allowed to be shown in India because it's Pakistani? Should a Pakistan movie be allowed to... Come on, guys. Come on. Grow the fuck up. I mean, what level of genius does it take to understand you're just fucking around you know and then there was this i think there was this one piece of news that came out where this minister spent millions and millions of rupees to put thermocol on water to cool the temperature or something some some idiot or something like that you know so here's the thing you have a country where you have to pay taxes or you get fucked uh, the, the policies change overnight where suddenly the, the currency that you have is no longer valid. So, yes, the corrupt guys gave away cash for free, but the good guys suffered. The whole of India was in fiasco. I could see it in the news. Uh, you have uh, problems like where you cannot criticize the government without getting bullied. You cannot criticize any religion or religious beliefs because you have to respect religion. And that is where you get these moral policing. Oh, you know, you are with this girl. Ramu is with Sheila. Beat Ramu. Bastard Ramu. This is your uh, wife. No. What? So 
what the solution is just marry any girl you meet and uh, uh, why are you doing that let a guy and girl let them have romance why the fuck are you beating them is your sex life so fucking boring that you have to look at other people's sex life what the fuck is wrong with people man come on so there are important things for you to focus on but the government doesn't focus on this you know in fact the most common thing most common thing it is still okay to piss in public. It is still okay to shit in public. It is still okay to spit in public, okay? You can throw garbage any fucking place you want. Nobody gives a fuck. You can just throw garbage. You can model police. A guy is meeting a girl. You can see YouTube videos. They are fucking slapping the bejesus out of the boy and girl just because they were talking. I mean, how fucking retarded should you be? And if, for example, you know, I, I just put up... Uh, uh, a, a photograph of a Hindu god I just put it up and I was talking about being an atheist and I get this message from this guy you bastard you come down to India we will fuck your happiness we will cut your fingers what? what? <laughs> if you have people who are such retards how the fuck who the fuck would want to stay in India man? come on it's like you get you're scared to even voice your opinion and in a place like India where students are killing themselves for exams, for studies, can you believe this? If you're killing yourself for something like for the glory of the country, I can understand. For an exam, for an education that is fucking outdated, you, you are being shamed for being gay or lesbian, which is normal, but they consider it fucking abnormal. You're being shamed for being an atheist and having a different point of view. You're being shamed if you even talk about the government. I mean, come on, man. What's wrong with you people? And then you ask me, oh, what is wrong with India? Okay, now I know what you're gonna say. Oh, Lord, instead of speaking bad about India, how about doing something good? What the fuck you want me to do? Start training people, start uh, educating people, and then have some fundamentalist of some religion and some political party come break my hands, break my face, break my legs and say, Eh, like you know how they say in Hindi movies, eh, terku mein nahi chodega, tapka dalega. You know, that's a little bit of Hindi. Then. Come on, I, why the fuck would I want to endanger my life to educate 20 people or 30 people only to have myself fucking crucified upside down by some gangster or some political party who's more fucking powerful? What can I do? Well, what am I doing? This is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm creating awareness, but I'm creating it from afar because I don't want to get fucked. See, end of the day, it's simple. The reason why guys leave India and go is because they need to look after themselves. If you don't have money to eat food, if you don't have money to pay your electrical bills, the water electricity, take care of your family, how the fuck are you going to do anything else? The country, India is not going to come and feed you and give you a job and give you unemployment benefits. No, you need to take care of yourself. That is why people leave India. They leave the fucking place. Okay. And I use the term fucking just as a... Uh, just as a slang, I didn't say India is, you know, like that. So, now, for most of you, India might be great. Yeah, India is a great country. Yeah, okay, fine. For a patriot, for a patriot, India is great. No matter what it does, India is fantastic. Jai Hind, okay? For a patriot. For someone who is practical, he would feel that, yes, there is room for improvement, but we need to point out the fucking mistakes. Some people said, if you point one finger like this, four fingers come at you. So I'm pointing like this now. You see, nothing is pointing towards me. And for a pessimist, India has gone to the dogs. So I'm not a pessimist, nor am I a patriot. All I'm saying is, I'm a practical guy who believes India has challenges. Now, the question is, oh, why the fuck you're not talking about it? USA has so many rapes. Oh, Australia has a... The thing is, I have an Indian passport. So that's why I talk about India. You get it? I'm an Indian, so I talk about India. And if an Indian talks about India, it doesn't make him a racist. I'm an Indian. I'm saying India has problems. That does not make me a racist. So what do you want me to do? Say India is perfect, fantastic. I love India. That's it. That's all it takes for me to be unracist. Hey, come on, man. See, the thing is, look, what I'm trying to make you understand is I don't fucking hate India. Okay, I'm not saying fucking India. I'm saying I don't fucking hate. I don't hate India. Okay, I don't hate Indians. I mean, what what do I get if I eat? I, I like Indian food. I, 
I have Indian friends. Most of my customers are Indians. I don't hate India. I don't get anything by hating India. I'm, I mean, it does not make sense. Why the fuck should I hate a country or a person? But what I'm trying to make you understand is, I hate this fucking mentality. I hate the backwardness. I hate the fact that India is so much of fucking potential, but you're focusing on eating beef and putting people in jail for five fucking years. You're beating poor fucking Muslims just because he was transporting a fucking cow. You, you're not focusing on women being raped, which is okay. Oh, don't point about the rape in India. There are rapes happening in US. So what? It's okay to rape in India? You are, you're more focused about watching, banning porn sites and knowing what you send on fucking WhatsApp, but you're not concerned about the education system, which is fucking outdated. Trust me, you can't get a fucking job anywhere in the fucking world. You say, I got a degree from Gurugala University, MBA, Gurugala. Who the fuck cares? You have youngsters, children who are killing themselves because their fucking parents force them to study. Force them to fucking study, put so much of fucking pressure, they, they thought to them, it's best I die. You have these serious fucking issues, but you're interested in, ah, oh, India, India, we love India. You, 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 you know the maximum patriotism that I've seen? The maximum patriotism is in a cricket match. India, yes. Six runs, yes. That's the only patriotism I fucking see. The only patriotism I see is Indra Nui became CEO. Ah, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. India, Indra Nui, Indian name, I'm Indian. She, Indian passport, I have it. Why the fuck is she not staying in India? Whether Sundar Pichkai or Nutella or whatever the fuck his name is, you know, why the fuck they're not staying in India? Because they knew for a fact they couldn't grow. That's why they, they gave up the fucking passport. They have American passports, they have different passports. Stop associating yourself with people who have left the country and they're being diplomatic about it. Yes, I'm proud of my Indian roots. Listen, end of the day, it comes down to this. Okay, it comes down to this. It's not what you can do. I know many people say, oh, it's a very part. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. You can do jack shit. Because if you try to do something different, some fucking gangster is going to come and beat the fuck out of you. That's what has been happening. And the bad guys who are in power are going to fuck your happiness if you try something funny. This AIB guys tried just a fucking joke. They got fucking screwed. Okay. You can't do anything unless and until all of you fucking unite, which is not going to happen. I mean, I, I just put up a fucking comment that uh, India is an, Hindi is a national language. All of a sudden, all the South Indians got together. Hey, how dare you say India is, Hindi is a national language? South India is different. Whew, there's so much of fucking, you know, disharmony in India. To tell you a fact, I doubt India is ever going to come together. The solution, if you ask me, is... For all of, for India to have a fucking dictator, like how you have a Durek Tito or something in Philippines, you need to have a fucking dictator, kill all the bastards in the fucking parliament, kill all the fuckers, get yourself CEOs and progressive thinkers like Elon Musk or, you know, uh, Peter Thiel or, you know, great visionaries from India like Sundar Pichkai and all those people you know, to run the fucking country, to run the government and then India will be great. But as long as you have these bathroom cleaners who look like fucking politicians, it is going to get fucked. It's, it's as simple as that. For example, if I was in India, I'd put this fucking video, I'd get fucked. I mean, you talk about even this Shiv Sena or this Bal Dakre. Uh, I put up a video once before. Oh, fuck. I got a guy called me from Bombay. Teruku me nahi chodega. Maar dalega. I'm like, woo. Hey, chill the fuck out, brother. <laughs> I mean, come on. So, bottom line is this. I don't hate India. I don't hate Indians. Nothing. I don't get any money for hating. I, I'm Indian. I'm Indian. Okay, please understand. I am Indian. Okay. Uh, however, I just hate this mentality, guys. It sucks. You're more concerned about beef and the beef man and who's eating your god. You're more concerned about uh, watching porn and banning the sites. You're more concerned about spying on people's privacy. You're more concerned about uh, unnecessary stuff where you should be focused on employment. 
the educational system. Today's youth being guided to get better jobs, better salaries, where the currency is stronger, that people can buy something better, where you support business houses to succeed, where you improve the infrastructure, where these are the core issues you should be focusing on, not on all the shit. And as long as Indians feel bad as, oh, Hindi is not the national language. No, South India is different from North India. Oh, I'm from Bombay. I'm not from Kerala. Stop insulting me. <laughs> You're never going to fucking succeed. Never, never, never going to fucking succeed. And this is what I hate. So I hope this makes you understand. And, uh, you know, just clarifies that I am not fucking racist. If you still feel I'm racist, then all you need is people to support each and everything and kiss your ass. Then maybe you'll feel, oh, he's patriotic. Again, I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of guy. Okay. I don't believe I can make any difference. I seriously don't believe because... The strength is in numbers and right now the number, the majority of people who talk shit, who, uh, who do shit, who are exploiting the country are in large numbers and they are in positions of power. And they know that majority of the Indian population is superstitious who believe in rats and snakes and, uh, you know, cows and, you know, as long as you have that, you can't do anything. As long as you, you know, people get sensitive to a photograph or an image, you can never succeed. So, Lloyd from LloydMesito.com. Who's Lloyd Mesito? Think person branding, sharing with you his views. Let me know what you think. This is me signing off for now. Bye. Oh, yes, one more thing. Like, subscribe, and share the channel if you feel I share anything of value. Let me say bye. Take care.